Moving on to the application problems, we now are going to use our knowledge of trig equations to set up and solve some word problems, like this first one. This first one, we have Samantha flying a kite. So here's the ground. A kite string is making 64 degree angle with the ground. So here she is flying the kite. And the kite string is making a 64 degree angle with the ground. So she almost has a kite right in the ground because it's forming that 64 degree angle with the ground itself. Now Samantha is standing 25 feet from a point on the ground directly below the kite. Well, point on the ground directly below the kite would fall about right here. And it says that she's standing 25 feet from that point. So the distance from that point to her is 25 feet. We want to find the length of the kite string. Well, the kite string would be right here, so I'm calling that x, and then this is our right angle. So we're given an angle, we're given one side of our right triangle, and we want to find the other one. So let's determine which trig function we're going to use to set up our equation. So we're given the 64 degree angle, and in terms of that angle, we're given the 25 feet. Okay, so that's the adjacent side to the angle. And then what we want to find is the length of the kite string, which is the hypotenuse of the triangle, which means that we're going to be using cosine. So we're going to say that the cosine of our 64 degree angle is equal to the adjacent side, which is 25, over the hypotenuse, which is x. Thinking back to what we did in the first video, in order to solve for x, let's go ahead and reduce our fractions by multiplying both sides of the equation by x. We're left with x times the cosine of 64 is equal to 25. But in order to solve for x, we have to divide both sides of the equation by the cosine of 64. So let's go ahead and enter 25 divided by the cosine of 64 in our calculators. So we're typing in, let's get this to work. There we go. So we're typing in 25 divide, divided by, excuse me, the cosine of 64, which is about 57. Actually, let's just keep it at that, right? Because we want to round to the nearest tenth typically. So it's 57 feet long for our kite string. Let's take a look at example two. For example two, we have another kite situation. A kite is caught on top of a 250 centimeter tree. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and draw the tree. We know that this tree is 250 centimeters. And we have a kite caught at the top. There we go. It says in order to get the kite, you lean a ladder against the tree so it reaches the very top. Okay, so we're going to lean a ladder against the tree. There's our ladder. The ladder makes a 25 degree angle with the ground. So here's our ground. The ladder is making that 25 degree angle with the ground. We want to find the distance from the foot of the ladder, which would be right here, to the foot of the tree. So we want to find this. All right, hopefully you can see the triangle in there. Let's determine which trig function we're going to use, either sine, cosine, or tangent. Start at our angle. Our angle's at 25 degree angle. We want to find the side adjacent to that, and we're given the side opposite that angle. So we're going to be using TOA, or tangent. So we can say, that the tangent of our 25 degree angle is equal to, so tangent is opposite over adjacent. So the side opposite the 25 degree angle is 250 over the adjacent, which we don't know, so it's x. Similarly to above, we want to solve for x. So let's multiply both sides of the equation by that denominator x, which leaves us with x times the tangent of 25 is equal to 250. And then we want to divide both sides of the equation by the tangent of 25 in order to solve for x. So we're going to be entering 250 divided by the tangent of 25 in our calculators. Let's go ahead and do that. 250 
divided by the tangent of 25, which is about 536.1. So it's about 536.1 centimeters from the foot of the ladder to the foot of the tree. Moving on to example three, working with another ladder here. It says we have a 40 foot ladder leaning against a wall. Okay, so I'm gonna make my wall here, make my ladder there. Hopefully your artwork is better than mine. So we have a 40 foot ladder and it's leaning against a wall so that the base of the ladder is 10 feet from the base of the wall. Okay, so the base of the ladder is 10 feet from the base of the wall. Okay, so working with the wall and the ground, so they have to make a right angle. It says, what angle does the ladder make with the ground? So actually, this time we're looking for the angle. So this is like what we just talked about earlier in this video with inverse trick. So we want to find the angle. Let's go ahead and determine which trig function we're going to be using here, either sine, cosine, or tangent. So the angle we want to find is right here. We're given the adjacent side, which is 10 feet, and the hypotenuse of the right triangle. So that's A and H, which means we're going to use cosine. So we're going to say the cosine of this unknown angle is equal to, let's write our ratio, adjacent, which is 10, over the hypotenuse, which is 40. In order to undo this to solve for x, we do have to use inverse trigonometry. And don't forget when you're typing this in your calculator, you want to make sure to hit second cosine first. So we're doing second cosine, 10 divided by 40. So the angle that the ladder makes with the ground is about 76 degree angle. And then finally, a kite is flying at the end of a 100 meter string and is 57 meters high. Find the angle that the kite string makes with the ground. Okay, so we have a kite, it's flying here. It's flying at the end of a 100 meter string, so that's the length of the string, so I'm putting that there. And the kite is 57 meters high, so it's 57 meters off the ground. Find the angle that the kite string makes with the ground. So we want to find the angle that this kite string makes with the ground. So it's similar to the problem above. So we're looking for this angle. Let's go ahead and write in our SOHCAHTOA to determine if we're using sine, cosine, or tangent. Let's go ahead and start at the angle that we want to find, which is right here. We're given the side opposite that angle and the hypotenuse of the right triangle. So that's O and H, which means we're using sine. Let's go ahead and set it up. The sine of this unknown angle is equal to, sine would be opposite over hypotenuse. So the side opposite this angle is 57 over the hypotenuse, which is 100. In order to undo this and solve for x, we do have to use inverse trigonometry. So we do have to press second sign in our calculators. So we're pressing second sign, and we're doing 57 divided by 100, which is, let's round it to the nearest degree, so 35 degrees. So the angle that the kite string makes with the ground is 35 degrees.